I was there that day and I saw her cry after Mama Teddy Bear said 10-4 and goodbye. She turned off the old CB and just looked at me and her heart overflowed and her tears ran free and the gratitude shone in her face like the sun for all the things those big tough truckers had done. A handful of change and a few dollar bills but most of all a little cripple boy's dream fulfilled. I guess I was Mama Teddy Bear's best friend. I lived by her and little Teddy Bear since, oh, I couldn't remember when. And that's why now, before my memory grows old, the rest of the story just has to be told. I'd come over and sit with Teddy Bear while his mama was away and play little games to help him pass the day. Then the afternoons, he'd wheel that chair over by the radio and he'd go on the air. And one by one, he'd break them all. I never knew a trucker not to answer his call. He'd just grin and ask me not to tell his mama, but I was pretty sure she knew what was going on. But time has a way of taking its toll much too fast. Mama Teddy Bear was growing old. And I watched as the silver touched her hair. But her one aim in life was Teddy Bear. And then I saw another change take place. Little Teddy Bear was slowly losing the race. I knew it, and his mama knew it too. And there was nothing in this whole world either of us could do. He talked less often on the old CB. There were times when he'd hardly talk with me. He took to sitting by the window and watching the road and the big 18-wheelers rolling by with their loads. And finally, he was too weak to get out of bed. And one day, he looked up at me and said, would you turn on the radio and go on the air and tell all my trucker friends what's happened to Teddy Bear? Well, the hardest thing I've done in my time was pick up that mic and say, break one nine. This is for all you truckers who care. I'm calling for your little friend, Teddy Bear. He says to tell you he misses you all, and he's awful sorry he can't answer your calls. They all came back and joked with me and said they'd catch him later on the old CB. They never did catch Teddy Bear again, cause late one night the angel came, and the last thing he said before he died was, tell all my trucker friends how I enjoyed the rides. Mama Teddy Bear couldn't tell him, and neither could I. Cause every time we'd look at that radio, we'd both start to cry. The funeral was preached at the chapel, and little Teddy Bear started on his last ride. As the procession rounded the little city square, the sounds of a hundred engines filled the air. The truckers had dropped their trailers back somewhere behind, and one by one, they fell in line. They all tried to comfort Mama Teddy Bear, and it seemed like the warmth of God just filled the air. Slowly they formed a circle around the little grave, and a lot of big men cried that day as they paid their last respects on Teddy Bear's last ride. 